Danger Debs, and no, I'm not going to interview Jess as a fairy, I'm going to the Fry Parade. I mean, that was planned, but no, interviews tomorrow, thank God. Anyway, I am ready to go. I am the gay fairy, or as best known for children, Barbie Magical the Rainbow. Yes, I am. I mean, I've got my wings, I've got the ribbon fan, I've got more fans for my friends. I'm meeting my cosplay friends, we're going to be in the parade. It's going to be a unicorn, going to be some good... Sailor Moon, I, I, I don't know what Carl's playing as, I really don't know. We'll find out when we get there. Uh, but it's going to be a good day. Flying out around Glasgow, I mean walking around Glasgow, I wish I could fly above the parade and just wave my flag. Uh, my flag is actually staying here, but I am taking my lanyard, to fly, lanyard that is the colour of my flag, a romantic. Uh, I'm taking a lot of rainbow stuff with me right now. I actually am the rainbow. <laughs> um, yeah, I also got a game with me because we have to be at the parade very, very early. Like, the parade starts at 1, but we have to be there at 12 because social distancing, COVID, you booked for to be in the parade, so we got to be this early. So, we'll we play a few games before we, the parade starts. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. But no, it's going to be a good day. I can't no wait to see everybody because I haven't really fully met the whole cosplay group. I have. It's been a long, long time. Con cons. <laughs> so... Yeah, let's go and meet everybody soon. Hey guys, hope you can hear me. I can't really listen where the mask on the train. <laughs> my lanyard, anyway. Uh, this is my sign. And look what I did to it. See the string? I can hang stuff on it and hold it. So I'm not really holding the sign. Please Clever me. Hello, we're at the train station. We're not all here, but some of us are here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Cape down and <laughs> lovely. Oh, this is gonna be good. I think I think it's just a shot to be like, hey. Yes, it's all gonna be. Now that's the BBC Studios. The Pride Parade is next to BBC Studios. But here's a funny thing about the BBC rules. So, if you're employed by the BBC, you're not allowed to be in any protest. That's including the Pride Parade. Now the Pride Parade is next to BBC Scotland Studio. They can't get away with it. <laughs> Like, if you see any BBC employer in the Pride Parade, they can't get away with it because the building's just right here. And the Pride Parade is just going to be across from them. <laughs> I think that, I don't know when that rule came in, but it was something, I think it was during lockdown. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I think it's funny. <laughs> afternoon all of you marching together in harmony with each and every one of you celebrating all that is good in the world we haven't been doing this for long we've been doing it for three years now and it's been 18 months we've all been locked up together so uh, we're going to celebrate today aren't we boys and girls we're going to show Glasgow Scotland and the world that we do it best we are marching only, we are the only people that are marching this year, us and Birmingham, so we have to do it for the rest of the world. We have to tell them that we are not going away. We will be heard and we will be listened to because we are equal to you and we are all as one. Yes? Ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we have another special guest all the way from... And we're off, somewhere in the crowd. We're here, we're fried, we're flat. Here we go. I support you.
there's the BBC Studios, and here's the Pride Parade. There are no in it. <laughs> oh, the cafe. <laughs> More allies! I don't know where they came from! They took a shortcut! Here we go into the central Glasgow. Still a long walk to go. I am here in the parade. The parade is way up there. If you can see it. We're not trying to hold the traffic, we're doing a good cause. Whoa. I can't even see the float anymore. They're down there. I don't know where the float is anymore. Bubbles! You know, there was a pride raid in Turkey a few years ago. And they, it was like, they all tried to break it up when police got out. Oh no. Lovely. I left the unicorn. I'm officially lost because I can't find my flatmate or my friends. Give me a sec. So we're inside St Enoch and I can hear someone shouting Scotland. There is a football game there is a football game on today, so I think that protest is coming from the football fans. I can't even see, I can just hear them. Can you hear them? I can hear them. Too many protesters on today in, in crowds gathering. Turns out the vaccination people. It's not cool, guys, not cool. Emotionals are running high. You know how I feel. I feel so tired today, but hey, we finally got pride. Yeah, we did our seven hour walk around. Well, you know, we did a walk. Yeah, but the whole thing was yeah. like seven hours out there. Yeah, we didn't walk for seven hours. Yeah. We just... uh, uh, we are so tired as the... I'm gonna get food and then bed. I'm gonna sleep, try and get this off my arm. I don't know how that got there from my sign. I'm guessing some paint was still wet. Or probably from sweat. Sharpies. Yeah. Sharpies. That was, uh, that's probably that's why. what it's made from. Probably that's why. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what to say. We're exhausted. We had a good day, a lot of emotions, and if you weren't there, we missed you. Yes. We very much did. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Bye. It's the memories you make us, so go out there and make some good memories and not some bad memories. I don't remember the last time I vlogged, but that's what you should say. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, bye. bye.